Put one at 15 pulls and the other at 30. That'll give us two different depths for the next try, through the, for the next pass through the bay here. That's good. Now what I'll do, I'll start the engine and put her into gear so that as the boat moves forward, both of these baits will come up and start to follow the boat. And it's as they come up that we should have a good chance of picking up a coho. All right. You okay? You ready? Be ready now. It's as those lines are coming up that our best chance of getting a fish is right then. Here they come. Mm. Well, not yet, but it... I still think we'll get one. What's that all the reading over there, John? That's an old abandoned salmon cannery can, one of about a hundred which used to operate all up the coast here. No one works or lives here anymore, except perhaps the ghosts of fishermen from long ago. Only the gulls and barnacle-encrusted pilings survive to remind us of the bustle of bygone years. These old buildings, which once echoed with the laughs and curses of fishermen and shore workers, are now left battered and derelict by the passage of changing seasons and the never-ending years. But before the days of refrigerated packing boats, these canneries were alive with action. Years ago, fleets of fishing vessels worked out of these canneries, sighted in the heart of the best fishing grounds. They headed to sea in search of their quarry in all types of weather. Once at the fishing grounds, nets would be spilled out with small tenders encircling the schools of salmon. Hydraulic pulleys and straining muscles would pull the nets tight. Heavier and heavier would the nets become as the fish were lifted irresistibly to the surface. A glittering silver mass of prized Pacific salmon. This was the moment all fishermen awaited the sea giving up its riches. Nets would now hoist tons of salmon into the ship's hold. The fishing fleet would hurry back to these canneries, unload their catch and get back as quickly as possible to the nearby fishing grounds. Conveyor belts would carry the salmon up to the cannery, where they were mechanically separated according to their size. Next, the heads and tails were cut off by automated knives. Then the fins were excised and belly cavities emptied and cleaned. The salmon would then be sliced by rotating circular blades into a predetermined size to be ready for the cans. The filling machines would pack each can to a predetermined weight. A touch of salt was added for flavor. The lids were placed on top of each can and then crimped. The cans continued along the automatic packing line to be hermetically vacuum sealed. Now the cans were prepared for the all-important superheated steam cooking. They were cooked in large pressure cookers with steam superheated for at least one and a half hours. Once cooked, the cans were so hot, they could not be touched for at least 24 hours. Once cooled, the cans continued along the line where they were labelled and crated for shipment to all parts of the world.
Yes, Ken, fishing meant jobs for many people in BC. It still is today. But when I look at the canneries now, it seems that even the ghosts are gone. Mm. You know, Jean, you told that story so well. I could almost see all those pictures. As I said before, Ken, the coming of the refrigerated packing vessel changed all of that, as now the fishermen's catches can be more economically taken down to Vancouver for processing. These remote canneries are no longer needed. The canneries are gone, but thank goodness the fish are still here. Here, here! You've got oh, one! Oh, 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 boy! Yes, <laughs> yeah, watch him go. Look, watch him run, Ken. Oh, that's not another little one. Oh, oh. Let him take line if he wants to. Oh, it's stop. Yeah, but keep a tight line on. This is not another small curve. What's happening? Handle him carefully, Ken. He's not played out yet. Oh. Shall I pull more? If he wants to take line, don't try and hold him. If he makes a sudden dash, let him take line off the reel. Just concentrate on keeping a good, tight line on him. Oh, he's strong. He's still strong. Oh, yeah. Well, he's a long, long way from being ready to bring to the boat yet. Watch him. He's coming up in the water now. It's da dangerous when he jumps. Be careful. Watch. There he is. Oh, you see him? I can see him. Yes, Bill. Coming around. Keep a tight light. Oh, 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 wow! Wow! <laughs> yeah, big jump. Wow! Oh, my God. Keep... Oh. Ted, keep, Ken, keep, keep your rod tip oh. up, but don't try and stop him. Okay, let, let him take okay, okay, line. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 boy, he's a very strong fish. Oh. Ah, you, you've got him on a tight line now. Good. 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 Just... Keep him coming nice and steadily. Right. Yeah, really right. steadily. Watch him. Oh, what, what? He still looks a little bit fresh to me. Oh! <laughs> oh there he goes again. Oh, there he goes again. Oh. Keep your rod tip up. Um, let, let him oh, have yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. No, don't try and stop him. Goodness. Oh, oh, okay. No. Great. Oh, 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 that's what they're supposed to do, Ken. Oh. <laughs> Good. I just, just keep him coming nice right. and steady. All right, now. all right. Yeah. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. He's not ready oh. yet. There's lots of steam in that chap yet. Oh, what? What now? Well, I <laughs> just keep your rod tip and keep a tight line, but be careful. Almost. There's still a lot of power, I think, in this animal. Hold on. Bring him over here. Try and get him on this side. All right, all right. Bring him round towards the net. Oh, Ken, he's gone to the other side of the boat. Okay. Oh, 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 beautiful. Wait. Oh, away oh, he goes oh. again. Just let, don't try and start him. Boy, that really is a strong fish. Will we? Oh. Bring him in closer now. Okay. Bring him in closer okay. now. Okay. 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 Okay, now take it really steadily here, because I think we're going to have a chance to get him. There he is! Oh, yes, I see him. Steady. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hey, don't oh, oh. stop him. He's off oh. again. I oh. don't believe it, the way that this fish can still keep going. He won't go as far this time, though, now. He's got to be tiring now. Yeah. Uh, keep him coming nice yes, and steadily. Yes. Try and get him as close as you can. I've got the net ready. Right. Now, just take it nice and steadily, now. I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, That's great, that's great. Just keep the pressure on him. He'll come closer. Yeah, we'll get him head first. When we've got him around, and go his head. He's oh. Just steady, steady. Just fine. Here he comes. He's yes. head first now. Yes. And oh, there he goes. Yeah, nice, yes, nice. You got it. Oh, beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, oh, that's yes, your yes, real, yes, real yes, fish, yes, yes. Oh, no, oh, that's a coho really oh, worth having. Yeah. Well done, my friend. Thank well you. done. Right.